Hey guys, RC here. Episode 10 of our Victor Orta Challenge. It's the director of Football Challenge, if you're just tuning in. Uh, so our season just ended. Uh, Marine actually lost. And so they're going to be back next year. But uh, Barnes, uh, we Roberts made an offer on Sam Barnes, an 18-year-old center back. And uh, so wanted to come back. I promised I would come back. Uh, Twelve point five thousand a year. And let's take a look at him. So he's in talks. Pacey could have good acceleration. You know, when you see a range like this, I always assume it's going to be somewhere in the middle. Uh, jumping reach is going to be very high. Heading is going to be low. So he can jump, but he can't get his head on the ball. That he can, he will be able to mark though. So marking will be good. Five nine, yeah, that's why he can't head well. He's not very tall, but there's a lot of positives here. So we'll go ahead and take him. So there's our first signing of the off season. Uh, you can see we're on May twenty first. So. I've gone ahead and list and, and moved a bunch of players over to see if we can get rid of them. And we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, because I've put them as not needed, he won't extend their contracts. So we haven't even started looking at contract extensions yet. So uh, anyway, we'll be back when anything else happens. All right, just a little newsworthiness. Uh, our club president is looking to sell the team so a local investor could be in line which means there's no big money which isn't going to help us out at all uh, also um dan wordsworth our center back cowperthwaite our other center back joel our winger and taylor our keeper and allison all signed new deals so those are guys that i left uh, on the on the club and did not ask him to get rid of. Uh, Craddock will retire. Playing semi-professionally. All right, well, good for him. Um, the other thing I did is I went ahead, because the, because the general manager plays such a big role in this, I switched it over from the club owner to me as having the, the say in the general manager. So I put an ad out. I don't know if I'm going to hire anybody. I haven't fired Roberts, the, the current general manager. Uh, unemployed. Three and four. Ugh, that's horrible. Adaptability. So anyway, I'll be looking at that. No other signings uh, of note to, to mention now. We've only been a few days. So we'll talk about general manager if anything happens. Although that can wait till later in the video. So we'll see you guys back here. I did want to just kind of touch base on the ownership. So we'll see how a, uh, a takeover affects the club. See you guys in a second. All right. So a little bit of news in what might be the fastest takeover in football manager history. Tom Martin, a local investor, has completed the takeover of Workington AFC. He spent about $9,000, uh, according to this, to seize control. So um, Glenn Heathcote, the former president, uh, has decided to wind down his career and only pursue part-time roles going forward. We did have a transfer embargo set, but it only lasted a day. <laughs> so that's good. Um, let's see. Thank you for your patience. No plans to provide. Board will be in place. That's fine. They do lift the embargo transfer. 
I have made a general manager offer, and in doing so, I went ahead and sacked Gary Roberts. His contract was due to expire at the end of June, so at the end of the current month, uh, we had to pay him $1,500 to buy out the remainder of his contract for the final month. So I'm hoping the new guy... Um, Hopefully we get him on board soon. Uh, we'll also save some money because Roberts was making seventeen five a year, and the current guy is going to make twelve five or twelve two fifty. So, anyway, we'll come back. Uh, we'll we'll look at him later on, or or actually, you know, after he takes the job, assuming he takes the job. And uh, then we will come back for any new transfer news once we get him in place. So see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So let's catch up on a little bit that's happening. We'll come back to that. I have signed a new general manager. It's His name is Danny O'Brien. And yeah, he's pretty good. So he can actually judge player ability and potential. Uh, Roberts, the guy that I fired, uh, was a... Five six, I believe. So we've moved up to an eleven eleven and saved five thousand two hundred and fifty dollars in the process. So that's good. Uh, he has signed some coaches, and this is his first potential player signing. And that is Michael Clunan, a twenty-five year old midfielder on a free. Let's take a look at him. Uh, could be a little pacier, but I mean, you know, if it's eight or nine, we'll probably be okay. Not really an upgrade for anybody that we got rid of. Good acceleration, so he'll be quick to the ball. Looks like he'll have good, really pretty good mentals. Good decision making, leadership. Vision, work rate, like that. Position passing is good, which is excellent. Technique will be really solid. Tackling. First touch, dribbling. So I kind of like this guy. So he can play center mid. He can drop back to defensive mid. He can split out wide as a winger if we need him to. And he could even be forced into any of the front three attacking mid roles. So I like this signing. Uh He's been signed as a backup as well. That was one thing, if you noticed, Roberts last season, every player he signed was was key player or first team. So very good getting this guy as a backup and on a reasonable salary. So the problem is he's, you know, I'm doing this in my other save where I'm actually signing the players, but I'm noticing like a $250 appearance fee is about the equivalent of 10-5 a year. So I can either do a non-contract with an appearance fee, or if I pay them a salary, I try to get rid of that. Even if I'm paying them about, you know, 12000 we still come out ahead here. So, but I like this signing. Looks pretty good. A uh, couple of coaches, couple of coaches. All right. So uh, we do play Aston Villa, yeah, in five days. Uh, and I want, I've got three or four big mat, big matches that should pay us seven to 8,000 in profit. Uh, so hopefully we're actually in the black come the start of the season. Uh, still, uh, they did release our payroll 250,000. So we're well over that. Anyway, we do have a, quite a few players, so we might actually be just a tad under that coming into the season. So we'll see. See you guys back in a second. All right. Well, some shocking news I was unaware of. Uh, I must have missed the email or it didn't come to me. Uh, the club took out uh, a new loan of uh, $24,500. And uh, that was done a month ago, June 1st. And we have to pay back $400 a month. And that will be until over the next five years. I don't know why they took that out, but the good news is 
that put us into the black. Let me real quick see if I can start a coaching course. Oh. Um. <laughs> All right, so they're not going to let me take it right now. I may have to wait until we get to a higher level. I don't know. All right, so anyway, we're taking out the work permits. We've just lost uh, all of our players for everything uh, going apart. Going apart. Boy, that made no sense. Uh, contracts ended, loans ended, all that other stuff. So actually, finances are back to the good. Uh, discuss the issue with the squad. So David Simington is really in a bad mood. Uh, we gave the preseason talk about finishing in the playoffs, and he said, you're not aiming high enough. He was the only player that, that whinged, and now, of course, he's leading a revolt with several other players. Um, All right, so good. We we went with the we went with the the good uh you know atmosphere in the locker room. So anyway, all right. Well, if any new signings come in, we'll be back for that. Otherwise, we will see you guys for the season opener. Also, just that's our squad. It's pretty thin. In fact, if we go in and and pick our we we don't even have enough for five subs so yeah we're we're in pretty dire straits uh so hopefully he signs a few people taking a look at finances we've actually dropped below the payroll budget so that's excellent so hopefully with his better skills he doesn't blow the budget by a hundred thousand dollars but hopefully we can um make a move here and get a few players in but we'll see so we'll see you guys back in a bit all right well we go one day forward and we actually sign a player javel clark i was a little worried so so anyway i've uh, loki doki you guys know i've made no bones that i watch his channel and i'm a, a long time uh subscriber to his channel uh he had noted that his when he when he was doing this that his director of football, basically, if any other club came in, he was lowballing every time his director of football was lowballing on salary. Now, Roberts, at the end of last season, we lost two or three players, uh, and salary was the issue. Now, for Javel Clark, we got an email that about three other clubs were interested in him, and he signed with us. So that's great. And he's a young forward. I don't know how good he is because, again, I'm not looking at these until you see him. But he's only signed for $4,700 a year. <clears throat> so he's only 18. He's got some pace. Acceleration isn't going to be the quickest, but he does have pace. Off the ball, again, I can't tell a whole lot. He can dribble very well. Finishing should be solid. I'm thinking that's going to end up being somewhere around an 11, 10 or 11 right now. So that would actually be good. First touch is probably going to be a little lacking. Heading will be okay. Technique will be okay. And his off the ball movement will be okay. So uh, I kind of like him. I think he will... Uh, Wanted by 26 clubs. Wow. So, and we, that's dirt cheap. So that's good. So we're going to accept that. And that's a new player on the club. So good on him. And uh, we'll be back uh, if any other signings. I do do the friendlies off camera. And I let my assistant manager handle those. Uh, most, I think most FM uh, 
people do. Uh, I always have. So anyway, we'll see you guys back next time something happens. All right, we have made another signing. Jerome Jolly, an 18-year-old midfielder, has been signed with first-team status, $11,250. Uh, and so let's take a look at him. He can play wing, left wing back and left mid. I have no idea about any of his stats. Stamina should be good. Good teamwork. Decent vision, work rate. Tackling appears that it will be very good. Heading should be solid. Hopefully we can find a few more of these things out. Unfortunately, since I'm not handling scouting or anything... Ah, that's depressing, but we're going to go ahead and accept that, mainly because we need bodies at this point. Also, taking a look at our squad, uh, Cowperthwaite is out for another up to three weeks, and we lost somebody else. Was it Wordsworth, I think, just came back from injury? I think so. Yeah, I think he just came back from an injury. He was injured in the uh, Aston Villa game. So uh, anyway, we are playing today. So uh, I guess we can catch you up to, to speed here. Uh, Aston Villa, uh, Ju Javel Clark scored in his debut, a 51st-minute goal scored against Aston Villa. So good on him. Uh, yeah, Cowperthwaite and – oh, it was Ben Pollock that got injured, but he's back already. So – uh, looking forward to Clarkie. He looks like he might be a good little player for us. So see you guys back here in a bit. All right, we have picked up a new player. It's 27-year-old midfielder Michael Potts. First team, $15,250 a year. Hopefully he's good. Hopefully he's healthy. <laughs> Ball-winning midfielder. Good stamina. Pace is lacking. Really good natural fitness. Positioning, teamwork, work rate solid. Determination is real good. Marking is not. Tackling is, yeah. He can pass well. Good first touch. Dribbling could be okay. He doesn't really need to cross from, from central mid, but... How are we looking at central mid? Yeah, I mean, you know, we just need bodies, to be fair. If we look at the 5-3-2, we really need another wing back, too. Uh, I'd like another striker, although we may have to go with three. Cowperthwaite. Owens. Jolly. Tell you what, if we go with three central mids, Jolly's our only reserve for both of these spots. So need one more, prop, need definitively more wing backs. And Cowperthwaite is up here, so take him out here. I think we're okay at center back for that tactic. I don't know if I need this guy. Well, yeah, actually, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess I do. So, all right, we'll go ahead and take him. Again, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to use that veto power too much. Uh, so, he appears to be a good, a good signing. Backup player in his prime years. All right, so we'll be back uh, for next signing or opening match. All right, so after a handful of signings, we've made our first loan move. Callum Lamb, a 17-year-old center back, comes to us. And so let's take a look at him. Well, let's see. Let's, we'll accept him. 17 years old. So we're having to pay 77% of his salary. So he's a center back from Carlisle. Okay, I don't know where Carlisle is. Scotland? Nope, Skybet, I don't know. Skybet League One. Oh, look at 
look at that. Egan at Adaw oh Egan at and Olson. Oh I recognize those guys. Who's down there? Hey Kettle, what you doing? Oh, uh, I wish we could get wish we could get all three of those guys back on loan. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's see. So, yeah, Skybet League One. Excellent. Column Lamb, jumping reach. He's 6'2". He can jump for days. He's got a great heading ability. Pace is going to be huge. Uh, not much in the way of acceleration, but that's okay. Uh, I'd like, you know, hopefully he's closer to an 8. You coming up? Come on. Come on. Come on. Or not. That's fine, too. Uh, let's see. Determination, positioning, tackling is going to be solid. Marking is going to be huge. Heading is through the roof. Oh, my God. He's going to be a starter. <laughs> all right. So we've taken him on. Uh, all right. So there's our first lone player. Excellent. And uh, we have actually been, <laughs> we've had to be, uh, play uh, some, some of our uh, under-18s in our friendlies just because of lack of depth. Uh, also taking a look at finances with all the signings he's done, we're only at 261,000. So we're only 11,000 over problem is we are not making the profit. I thought we would cause I had scheduled. In fact, we can look at the schedule and you can look at this. I had scheduled Aston Villa, Cardiff, Derby County, and Sheffield United under 23s, all with the eye towards making some serious profit. Cardiff didn't sell out almost, but, you know, when I set the, and if you guys know the answer to this, let me know in the comments. So when you go to the friendlies right here and we pick a date, you know, whatever the date is, um, I'll pick that. And you choose something, right? So if I pick, just for example, Linfield, it shows the fee, and I'm a, that's how much you have to pay to them. And this is a how much we should get in revenue. So that should be a thousand dollars profit. Now. I don't know if is is it the fact that this number is not accurate? Is that what it is? Because all three of those matches, all three of those matches were supposed to um that's not what I want. Cancel. Yes, there we go. All right, so all three of these matches were supposed to generate between either six or eight thousand dollars. So I was expecting twenty-two thousand dollars in profit just for just for those three matches, and yet we're you know in the hole. So I, I don't know what's causing that. So if you understand that, please let me know in the comments below. We're getting close to opening day. We've got uh, just a couple of friendlies left, so we'll be back for Gaines Gainesboro Trinity unless we sign some more players in the meantime. All right, we are back for the season opener. We do have another loan offer out, but someone else has come in on the same player, so he's weighing his options. So let's see. All right, I do want to turn off the... Actually, I've got the U23s in there. That's fine. If I turn them off. All right, so we do have quite a few young players. And I want to edit my guidelines. So I want to turn off the 18 squad. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's go through real quick. So uh, I did mention that uh, Javel Clark scored in his debut. Uh, 
Uh, 4-1 win. Mellon Barnes Clark scored again. David Symington. Sam Joel scored the game winner against Lancaster. Uh, Allison with a brace in the win over Glen Afton. 3 0 loss to Cardiff. A 1 1 draw. Javel Clark scored again. The Beatty Star. Dal Beatty Star. Javel Clark with a brace. Alistair Stone added another goal. 4 0 loss. We just got rolled by Derby County. Uh, Sheffield United, a 2-2 draw. Allison scored, and we got a equalizer by Michael Clunan, 89th minute, and a 1-1 draw. Sam Barnes in stoppage time in the first half over Gateshead. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Finances were $13,500 in the hole to start the season. We are losing... Um, we are losing a little bit every month, so you know that's going to continue to happen, unfortunately. But it looks like spending is in control. We are eleven thousand over. I would like to get one or one or two more players, if possible, primarily a midfielder, and then I would like some wingers. Uh, is what I would like. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into it. Today we are playing Maidenhead. I believe that's who we're playing. No, Maidenhead. I don't know where that came from. I must have seen that somewhere recently. Um, Gainsborough Trinity. Duh. All right, match preview. So we are favorites at home. I like that. So with those being favored, I'm going to go with that is our standard tactic. All right, Holiday. You are not real good there. More of a winger. Your finishing's not great. Dribbling's good. First touch is good. Passing's actually not bad. All right, so let's put him on training for... What's the tactic call for? Attacking advanced playmaker support. Attacking midfield, advanced playmaker, support. So we'll set him going there. Uh, Clark. We're going to go ahead and set your development as a pressing forward. Striker, pressing forward. Uh, attacking. I think he was attacking, right? We'll double check that. Yes, attacking. All right, Allison. Allison's really good at. Piper, get out of there. Uh, inside forward. Attacking. So we will go. Inside forward, attacking. And I, I'm going to try to keep these guys. Uh, all right, so he's going to be inside forward support. There we go. Should have done this off camera, but, you know, what are you going to do? Box to box midfielder support. Go there, because I'd like to play this a lot. Ball winning midfielder, defense. There we go. Uh, everybody, uh, let's see, Lamb. Ball playing defender defend and wing back attack. Wing back attack. All right. Keeper should be okay. Uh, do I need him to be a sweeper keeper? 
That's what that's what he's set up to be. Uh, oh, I eh, standard. Yes, that's that's what I want. All right. Uh, let's see. Workington selection. And all right, we got Pollock, Jolly, Potts, Wordsworth. Wow, you know who's not on the bit on even on the bench is Allison. Where is Allison? Does he? Um. Where is Allison? That's all our players. Oh, hell. Scott Allison, where are you at? Contracted to Workington. He's on the senior club. Match conditions fine. Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh my God. All right. Well, I'm just blind. You guys are probably screaming at me. That's fine. All right. We're going to submit the team. Uh, all right. Cool deal. Let's go, let's go. It was so funny. I've been talking about the uh, not giving any pregame talk. And uh, in Loki's video he put up today, he made the same comment. He goes, that never worked before, but they evidently like that. All right, Murray jerking around with the ball. Come on, boys. Get creative. Chris Owens, booked. Uh-oh. Over the top. Good, good. All right, a few more chances. None on target, though. Oh, look at that nice touch. King to Bernie. Headed away. Joel comes back to get it. Clunan. No, that was bad. That was bad. Not good at all. All right. Owen's up to Allison. Allison has to come back. Clunan. Mellon. Holiday. Finds Allison again. Up into the attacking end. He tries to cross it. Crosses it again. Clark, Allison, Joel drops it. Oh, the keeper jelly handed it, and Joel puts it back in for Workington's first goal of the season. Allison gets an assist. I think the keeper should have got the assist personally, but that is okay. All right, so we are going to... Uh, uh, yeah, we'll hold off here. All right, so Joel's on a 7-2. All right, we are starting to take control of the game, so that's good. Only 51% headers. Ugh. All right, encourage the team. Avoid another booking. Avoid another booking. Calmed him down. Good. All right. Oh, I want to take a look at Clark after the match. Oh, Allison. Oh, come on, man. You got to get it at least on target. 12 shots, four on, four off. Melon. Oh, no. Come on. That was a woodwork. Come on, fellas. All right, headed on. Oh, there's Lamb. Plays it back to Taylor. No, don't do that. 
Oh, Joel makes the nice run. Allison. Oh, nice header by Allison. Couldn't get it on target, though. All right, we're going to praise them. We're going to go sub. Uh, Clunan, mid center. All right, we'll bring Potts on for him. Potts is one of our new players. I don't remember him from last year at least, but I do forget a lot of stuff. Um, Javel Clark's on a 6'8". Um, boy, those center backs are playing nice. 7 and 6.9. Wow. Uh, Jerome Jolly. Not the best player, but we're going to take Owens off because of the yellow card. Let's do that. Keep the clock running. All right. Potts picks up a yellow card. That's okay. Uh, Pollock. Yeah, let's go ahead. Boy, Lamb. God, he is playing so well for only 17, man. Wow. All right. He's got pace. He does not. All right. So we're going to bring Pollock on. Give Lamb a bit of a rest. We're going to praise. Come on, boys. Let's get this opening win. That would be awesome. All right, well, this should be it. There it is. Nice to get that first win of the season and put three points on the board. Uh, yeah, you can't not talk to them. Uh, well done, a good win. Yes, try to get our morale going in the right direction. It's always a bit of a concern. Oh, look, playoff position. Oh, my God, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, we want to definitely be in playoff contention this year. Um, Potts makes his debut. All right, uh, we'll come back pretty quickly. Um, let's do maybe uh, we'll play a couple of games. Maybe we'll come back for Radcliffe and Matlock Town. Those look like new clubs. Scarborough looks like a new club, too. I, I could be just not... Altern Cham? I think that's a new club. I don't know how many new clubs come up, but anyway, well, you know, whatever. All right, well, uh, thank you for watching. Welcome back to the next season. We should probably sign a few more loan players, I would hope, between now and uh, the next time you see a match. Uh, but we'll cover those when we come back. And uh, we will see you for the next match, next episode. Leave a like, subscribe. You know, that first episode of the new season, you know, likes and comments really help generate uh, hits on the YouTube search function. So I would appreciate it. We'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.